welcome to part four. Oh wait, part three. Part three. Okay. So this part is hair. So what's always good is to put the hair up. But before we do that, use a black scrunchie. Black's awesome. Most gothic people dye their hair a little bit. But since we don't have time to do that, we're going to put in pink, blue, and purple hair extensions. So we can still get that feel. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to take my first pink one, and I'm going to stick it just like a barrette. Tell me if it hurts. And I'm going to do that, two on each side. So, I would stay in like the blue, pink, and purple range. And black. And black. Well, sir. So that you don't get too, you know, cutesy. Even though pink can be kind of a little bit too cutesy, most goths, like, have that in their hair, surprisingly. But try and keep it dark. Actually, don't do two on each side, because they usually have it all on the same side. They, like, dye one part of their hair. Kind of like Jade from Victoria's. Alright, and now once you have your colors in, we're going to bring it out into kind of a ponytail slash bun thing. So, you can keep it down, which some goths do, or you can put it up. So, we're going to show you each way. So down, I'm going to show you what it looks like down. So down, you can really see the colors over here and stuff. And she looks good like that. And then up, I'm going to show you in just a second if you want to put it up. Be sure to use your black front sheet because black rolls. So you want to take all her hair back really smoothly, put it into that thing like a half ponytail, like you don't go all the way through. Eek. Okay. And that also looks good because it expresses all the color in her hair. So let me show you that. So that also looks good. And so, come on in for part four, which is how you act. Bye.